In this video today, I'm going to demonstrate my solution to a very common problem that you may encounter if you are a user of PancakeSwap, which is an extremely popular decentralized exchange used for swapping tokens. Oftentimes, you will come across this incredibly annoying error message that tells you the transaction cannot succeed because gas could not be estimated. There are all kinds of videos out there that recommend just changing the estimated balance to random numbers or adding a decimal and a bunch of zeros to get around this issue, but I found a much simpler way to get around this, and here's how it works. First, let me go ahead and demonstrate the problem. Here I'm going to attempt to use my maximum balance of BNB to swap for Nano Dogecoin, and you will see that the swap is going to fail. The solution to this problem is simply to reduce the amount of tokens that you are trying to purchase, at least by a few percentage points. So I'm going to take this number right here, which is the estimated balance given to me by PancakeSwap, and I'm going to reduce it by about 6%. And of course, the best way to do this is to just use a calculator, or to make things even easier, I'm going to use Google to tell me what 94% of this number is. So now that we have our new number, let's go ahead and put it in and give it a shot. The gas estimation error is now gone, and I am able to swap tokens with no problems. Now, you do not have to use 94% like I did in this video. In fact, you can try to do 99, 98, 97, whatever you want to try. The obvious problem with this solution is that you're not going to be able to use your full balance to swap for the new token, but at least you'll be able to get something instead of nothing. You may have noticed that I used a slippage tolerance of 12% in this video, but from my experience, making changes to that number doesn't really make much of a difference. In my opinion, the problem seems to be that PancakeSwap is inaccurately estimating the balance of tokens that you are trading for, and it seems to affect new tokens more than older ones. Please be sure to leave a comment to let everyone know if this solution worked for you or not, and please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing if you found this information helpful.